East Blast absentee and early voting is happening right now in Twiggs County. Gloria Ruth Finney is live in the studio to explain how tax dollars will be used toward education over the next five years if approved. Good evening to you, Gloria Ruth. Hey Greg, in Twiggs County, even if you don't have school children, East Bloss affects you and your community. Twiggs County Schools says good schools benefit the students and the social and economic strength of the community. And since 1999, when the Twiggs County East Bloss was established, 1% of the cost from every item you purchase online and in store partially funds the school system through the Education Special Local Option Sales Tax. And that goes to projects that we can do for our buildings, technology purchases, instructional purchases, and also textbooks. Funding otherwise not possible through the school system's general budget. Twiggs County Assistant Superintendent James Austin says these are what your tax dollars could be used for. Of course to track um, HVAC, um, roofs, um, we can do a lot of modernization to the buildings, paint, improving infrastructure. East Bloss will also find smaller things like new furniture. The 21st century learning, that's a different style. That's a different mode of learning. The furniture looks different. It feels different. And we want to ensure our kids have that opportunity to be in the 21st century learning environment. Once they come into a building, their pride impacts their attitude. We want them to be proud of what they see when they come to Twist County Public Schools. Also planned for purchase, emergency backup systems. One thing we do know, if the power goes out across the district, we want to be able to continue to educate our kids. So there will be a big investment in this particular spot. The collection period for this proposed East Blast extension will be from 2025 to 2029. They're expecting to raise $6 million over those five years. In the meantime, the school system can borrow some of that money through a general obligation bond. And with that, they hope to get started on some of these projects as soon as April. The final week to vote on the Twiggs County East Blast will be March 13th through 17th. 9 to 5 p.m. at the Twiggs County Courthouse. Reporting live in the studio, Gloria Ruth Finney, WGXA News. All right, thank you, Gloria Ruth.